So a year ago, you came to Hometopia with burgers. And what a year Burgers has had. You've had the sellout at Edinburgh, you've had the incredible reviews and the tour. What does that feel like as an artist? Do you know, for my first show and for my first kind of proper step into theatre, it's been really overwhelming, but like overwhelmingly positive. I was walking along Hope Street today and checkpointed that this time last year we had the show here in Liverpool for Homotopia and we had no idea we were going on tour, no idea that Fringe would be such a success. Um, it feels incredible, really, and I think in a year where so much negative press has been happening to trans people, I think it's been a really nice reminder of our skill and our craft and our hope and the fact that so many audiences are coming out to a show that's so boldly political and so boldly claiming for trans rights and trans liberation. It fills me with hope, yeah. I think it really does, and I think it's that... It must be quite strange in a way to be at the forefront of that, of like how conversations have been changing this year, of how you have been firefighting on Twitter like almost <laughs> every day and you take it with such grace and such patience. But that must be, you know, the theme for Homotopia this year is resist, resist. Burgers feels like it has been right at the forefront of that protest resistance movement. That must feel like quite a lot. Well, I feel like, for me, art is never going to be the only thing that is an ingredient to change. I think so often what art can do is reflect the work of grassroots organisers, reflect the uh, work of people on the ground. And I feel like art is always speaking back to what's happening at the moment. Um, it has been overwhelming. I think that it is a hard time to be public facing and trans. But I also think Burgers gives me a shield. I feel like uh, what happens is, is that when I go on that stage, I have control. I have a mic, I have the audience listening to me, I have my craft that I can play with. And I feel like for me, performance has always been about doing that. If I don't feel powerful on the streets, or if I don't feel powerful on Twitter, or if I don't feel powerful in the media, then I can go and use burgers as a chance to feel powerful and feel in control and say what I need to say. I think one of the things I found really particularly from like reading audience feedback as well, of like people were coming out and doing instant reviews, which has changed so much in the past few years, yeah. of like people doing instant review of the show. Yeah. I think there was a sense as well of like, as, you know, when you're talking about that, the sense of the show changing as whatever's happening to you in the day, it really did feel like you were doing that in Edinburgh, that you were, your experience day to day, particularly from anything from media stuff to anything, as you say, happened on the street, you were feeding that into the show as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I think what's been great about letting burgers have such a bigger life is that maybe last year when we were first doing it, it was primarily just my audience coming, which was great because I still think the show can challenge queer people and I think it's still important for queer people to hear. But what's been amazing about going to venues like The Traverse and Edinburgh and then obviously this tour that's included South Bank and Dublin is that the audiences are widening up to people that have never seen a trans person on stage, let alone a trans person talk, that have never met a trans person, let alone a trans person of colour. And I think what's been energising me is seeing them come in, and some of them with open hearts, but some of them with preconceptions, and the show and the hour change them. You know, like, I'm not saying it's doing a magic 180, but it definitely starts a conversation, and I think that's when art's at its best. That's... Um, you know, we touched on that a little bit before about, you know, the, the theme of this year's festival is Resist, Resist. And since, you know, that theme was announced, you've been seeing it in a lot of places. You know, there have been so many protests this year. There have been so many people going on marches for the first time this year. Why do you think protest and why do you think resistance is important? I think we've always been resisting. And I think that marginalised people are at our best when we're organising together and resisting together. I think that we have two choices when we're under oppressive structures, and that's to be complicit and continue or to resist. Um, I don't believe in neutrality. I don't believe in a middle ground. I believe in us choosing to fight back. And I think that queer people, trans people, um, have always known what it means to resist. And I think when we choose to resist now, we're continuing a legacy of queer and trans people doing it for years and years. So what have you got planned for Homotopia? You are artist in residence. I mean, <laughs> you have, you've got a whole, there's a whole yes, weekend of yes, performance. Yes, people are going to be bored of me. <laughs> no. um, well, obviously just the launch tonight. I'm looking forward to that, meeting other people in Liverpool. I love being in Liverpool. Um, I'm so excited. My, I think my highlight is that I'm hosting the cabaret night on Saturday. Um, 
of, alongside doing the panels and my own performance at the Slavery Museum, I think what I'm most excited about is the cabaret because it's a chance to see local Liverpool artists. I know they've got an LGBT youth group doing uh, performances there. We brought up Miss Kevin from London, who was a Liverpool local and is one of my favourite performance artists. And for me, that's the best because I think a lot of the time I can get pushed out as a solo artist, but we're always in conversation with each other. And I think what's exciting about Saturday night is I get to host an array of like local artists performing and seeing what they're doing. I think it's really easy to ship artists into a city and then not be in communication with what's happening locally. And I think what I'm looking forward to doing is listening and hearing what's happening for local Liverpool queers, seeing their art, watching it, celebrating it. Um, I think it's gonna be a great weekend. And then what's, what's next for you after Homotopia? What's the... I come on tour. Yeah, I get, so straight after Homotopia, I'm on the Burgers UK and European tour. So uh, if no one's seen it or didn't catch it last year in Liverpool, I think the closest... God, this is a test on my geography. But <laughs> I'm going to Newcastle, which I feel is close. Birmingham, is that close? No, everyone's like, no. I'm going to some places that aren't Liverpool this time. So I'm going to be on tour f until December 3rd with Burgers. So it's going to be performing non-stop and making a lot of burgers. <laughs>